Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at using the vMix playlist feature. The playlist feature allows you to create a playlist of inputs that you've already got in your vMix production. So for example you can use the playlist to transition automatically between videos, cameras, images and that type of thing. So it's a great way to add a little bit more automation to your vMix video production. Now this differs from the list feature. The list feature in the inputs allows you to create a like a playlist uh, of files that are, are, are on your computer, so video files or audio files. But the playlist feature that we're talking about today allows you to create a playlist of inputs that you've already got in your vMix production. So I'm currently using vMix 19 and this is currently how the vMix interface looks. If it looks a little bit different from what you're using then we might have updated to a different version. Now um, as you can see in the production today I've got a couple of cameras, I've got some videos and uh, my microphone that I've got set up ready to go for this video production. Now the playlist function is located down the bottom of the vMix interface so if you take a look you'll see the playlist section down the bottom and if we click on the gear icon we will able to configure the playlist. Okay so this is the playlist window um, it will allow me to create a playlist for my inputs but first of all we're going to create a new playlist so we've got one we'll call it new playlist and we're going to click OK but before we do that if you've got a an existing playlist that you've already got in vMix you can actually add to it so I can tick copy current playlist and it will then add on top of what I've got existing in the playlist so we'll kind of create a new one based on that uh, and then we can start adding more things to it. I'm going to click OK. So as you can see at the top right hand corner I've got new playlists that I've um, chosen to use and then if I add more ones I'll be able to see it in this drop down list. Now the playlists are attached directly to the preset so if you want to have playlists on in vMix uh, and you want to attach it to a preset make sure that you you know you add the playlist and then you save the preset because that's where the playlists will be saved. Okay so on the left hand side you'll see the available inputs and on the right hand side you'll see the playlist. Now the available inputs allow you to select them and then use the arrow buttons to move that directly into your playlist. So we're going to select our, my camera here, uh, put my second camera We'll go this video and um, select another video. And what we can do is on the right hand side we can select the video and then we can move it up and down the playlist for example or camera. Whatever we've added to the playlist here we can use the arrow keys in order to move them up and down the list. So in order to edit the settings of the playlist uh, items we can click on it. So we'll click on this one here. This is a video. So starting from the top we can choose the starting position of the video. So say we didn't want to actually play the whole thing through, we want it to start from halfway. We could select that here. We can choose the duration of the video. Now typically if you've got a video in vMix you want it to play the whole way through so you don't set a duration. Um, but you can if you want to if you've got a specific time of the video that you want to show. Then the transition represents what transition it will use when it goes to this particular input. Uh, and then the transition duration and then the display type. So we have it set to normal which means it's going to put display full screen like it normally would in vMix if we were displaying a video. However you could use the playlist uh, to create a, a playlist of maybe picture in picture. So you, you set it as a set one of these overlay channels to a picture in picture then it would rotate through different uh, videos and cameras and stuff like that picture in picture or something if that's what you uh, wanted to do. But we're going to set this all up how we normally would for a production um, and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to go to a camera now, we'll double click it, we'll go to the settings. Now the camera's a little bit different because cameras won't have a set duration on them so we need to actually set the duration of how long we want the video to stay on the screen for. So we're going to choose 5 seconds just for a quick test in this one here. Transition, we'll fade to it um, and the display type we're going is, you know, we're going to use full screen so we're just going to leave that normally. So for this video uh, sorry, for this camera it's going to be on for 5 seconds, um, it's going to fade to the camera um, and then it will the transition will last for 500 milliseconds and it will display full screen. So we're going to click OK. Um, so we can make changes to other ones, so this is our second camera, so we only want this one up to be for 2 seconds. We can change that, we want this to fly in uh, when that comes to it. And in this P's video for example we only want that to go last for, you know, 3 seconds and what can we do? We'll fly rotate to this one uh, and then we'll click 
OK. So now we've got our playlist set up, uh, ready to go. So before we start it, we'll go through some of the other settings below. Now you've got the loop tick box, which means it will loop through all of your playlist items. So it will start from the start from wherever you need it to start, and then it will go through, go to the last one, and then it will start all over again. Now you can tick this box here. Uh, it says begin from selected item. And so if we select this camera here, then it will mean that the the transition, uh, sorry, the playlist will start from that particular input. If we select clear overlays, it will wipe all of the overlays on the input, uh, on the inputs. Um, and then if we go to manual mode, it means that it won't automatically change between, and we can use the buttons down here, previous and next, to go through our um, inputs. Now underneath that, we have the start button, which means we can start the playlist from the playlist window here. And then next to it, we have previous and next, which means we can uh, manually cycle through uh, each of the inputs if we wanted to. If we didn't want to wait for the, you know, say five seconds on the camera, we could press next and it will automatically switch to the next playlist item. And then finally close, we'll close down this particular window that we have here. So if we click close, um, then we go back to our vMix production. Okay, so now we're going to start our playlist. So I'll go to the playlist and I will start it. So we'll play this autumn video. If we go here to the settings, you'll be able to see it. Um, I've selected loop, so when it gets to the bottom, it will start again. Now on this video, on this uh, window here, you'll be able to see the arrow, which means that's where it's at with the current uh, playlist item. So when it moves to the next one, um, it'll move to my camera for five seconds. Here I am here. Um, once it's finished five seconds, two seconds to this one, then three seconds to this video. And then because we've set it to loop, it will go back to the very start again. So that's that's what we've got set up for this playlist. It's just going to go all the way through if we we loop it. So that's um, that's how you do a playlist in, in vMix. It allows you to kind of create an extra level of automation in vMix, which works alongside all of the other automation as well. So if we have things like uh, triggers, if you wanted to use a trigger, it would be great for transitioning to a camera in a playlist. So if I, in a playlist, I move to my camera, but I still want my overlay to appear, um, what I can do is set up a trigger to overlay my title, say after three seconds, and then fade away. So you can use uh, playlists in conjunctions with triggers and even shortcuts. So you could set up shortcut buttons on your keyboard or MIDI device to go to the next and previous item in your uh, playlist if you didn't want to automate it uh, specifically like that. Thanks for watching the video today. As you can see, the playlist feature allows you to add more automation into your vMix production. So you can switch between you know, camera angles, videos, multi-views, or any inputs in vMix. Now it's not designed to be TV studio, play out automation software, and we don't have any immediate plans to add that into vMix. If you have any questions about vMix, uh, feel free to send us an email via vmix.com. And I'll also link all the documentation for the playlist uh, just in case uh, you need to find out any more information. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.